Welcome back. In this video, I will give you a complete overview on the Kubernetes node port service. But before going into the demo, let's first understand what is Kubernetes service all about. A service is a method for exposing a network application that is running as one or more pod in your cluster. Confused? No problem. In simple term, if we need to access application which is running inside the pod from the outside of the Kubernetes cluster, then Kubernetes service is going to help me. Or within the cluster, if there are application which I need to communicate together, then Kubernetes service is going to help me. We have different type of services like cluster IP, node port, external DNS, load balancer. But in this video, we are only going to cover the node port service. So let's start. So here I logged into my machine. Let me see the configuration first. So the configuration, I'm going to check how many nodes or clusters are there. Okay. So the now it is telling me there is one node which is in ready state. So I'm going to use this node in order to deploy my ports. And there is one control plane as well. If there are no resources in this node port, then I can also deploy my pod on this control plane as well. Okay. Let's go with the first approach. If you remember from the previous video, I already have the Docker Hub account created where I have my image store. So let me go to the Docker Hub. So this is the Docker Hub and this is my account and here I have my repositories. So let me go to the repositories and see all of these repositories. So let me use the Nginx one and this is my user ID and this is the name of the image. Along with this, I have the different tags. Okay. So the first thing which I'm going to check whether there is any pod which is in running state or not. So the command is kubectl get pod. There is no port which is in the running state at the moment. Now the next thing which I need to do is that is kubectl run. Then I need to provide some name so I can give my pod. And after that, I need to provide the image. And for me, the image is wiki say 9933 nginx and then the tag so seven tag i'm going to use like who done this thing now i'm getting the message pod is created let's see kubectl get pod okay it is in the process of creating a container let's wait for some time kubectl get pod yes it is in the running state we can get more detail about the pod by running this command kubectl get pod minus oy and here if you see now you have the extra things like on which node it is running at the moment what is the IP address all those things it is telling me and I can also check with the IP address curl http 192.168.1.6 Yes, my Nginx is up and running. You can see this thing. Okay. Now the next thing which I need to do is I need to create the node port service. But before that, let's see if we have any service already available or not. So the command is kubectl get service. Now, this is the default cluster IP service which is available. Okay. Now, I need to expose the service. Which service I need to expose? Node port. And with the help of the node port, what we can do is we can access our port from outside. So, the command is kubectl expose. Then, we need to provide the port name. And in our case, what is the port name? So let me go with the command kubectl get pod. So this is the pod name. Again, the command is kubectl expose my pod. And after that, I need to give the name of the service which I need to use. As I told you, like we have different 
services like Noteboard, Cluster IP, Load Balancer, External DRS. So we need to give the name here. So the name is Noteboard. Make sure that we are going to write the Noteboard in the same manner. Otherwise, it is not going to work. Then we need to provide the port number. Now on which port I want to configure this application. So I can give any port here. But let me go with port number 80. And then we need to provide the name of the service. So minus minus name and the service name. So my service, my port service. Small mistake. Expose. Here I need to provide the name. Port. My port. Now this look fine. Let me enter. Yes. I have my service created. Let's check with the command cube ctl get service. Or we can also go with the short form cube ctl svc. Now here if we see we have one of the type node port. This is the cluster IP and it is running on port number 80 for outside and internally this is the port on which it is running. And by this way, I can have multiple applications running on port number 80. Let's try to access this thing from outside. As of now, I'm using a demo account. So I'm not able to access this application from the outside, but we can curl this application. So let's do it. For that, what I need to do is I need to check the IP address of my node on which node my pod is running. So kubectl get node minus o y. Here if you see, I have this node on which my pod is running and there is no external IP. If you are using AWS, GCP, Azure, you will get the external IP here. Again, this is a test account which I am using. So there is no external IP provided here. But in your case, if you have configured everything on AWS, GCP, Azure or any other cloud provider, you will see the external IP here. Now what you need to do is you need to use that external IP and then the port number. That's it. So let me do that curl and then HTTP 172.3.3. Dot three zero dot two dot two, and then we need to provide the port number. And in our case, where is the port number? This is the port number. See, we are able to access. And if I try to access this thing on port number eighty, it is not going to work. Fail to connect. Connection refused because this one internally is running on which port? this port. Let me do one thing. Let me create one more service so that you can understand this thing better. So for that, what I'm going to do is um, let me go to my Docker Hub and this time, rather than using the Nginx, I'm going to use the Apache. And this is the one. And tag 2 I'm going to use. So the same command, kubectl run then we need to provide the name and for this i'm going to provide apache then we need to provide the image and this is my image and we need to provide the tag tag is 2 if we are not going to provide the tag here what will happen it is going to pick up the latest one <coughs> so my pod is created let me verify is kubectl get pod Okay, it is in the process of creating. Let's refresh it. Yes. Now my Apache is up and running. We can get more detail by using minus O wide option here. And I can see this Apache is running on this IP. Let me verify this thing quickly. Curl HTTP. This is the test. Yes, this one is working. And why I'm using the HTTP, not the HTTPS, because I don't have the certificate. If I'm going to try on HTTPS, it is not going to work as there is no certificate assigned. Connection refused for port number 443. 
Okay, now the next thing I need to expose the service kubectl get pod and now we need to expose the service kubectl expose pod then the pod name in my case the pod name is apache then type again the type is node port and then we need to provide the port number and here again I'm going to provide the port number 80 and then we need to provide the name of the service and Apache service it is created now let me go with kubectl get SVC or service whatever you are comfortable with now here it is telling me this Apache service is running on this port let me verify it quickly by running kubectl get node min minus o white and this is the IP let me copy this IP let me go with the curl command HTTP again I cannot use the HTTPS as I don't have the certificate installed and then what is my IP 303.92.303.92 here we go it is working if you are using AWS GCP if you have the external IP try to access the same thing from outside make sure if you are using the AWS then you have that particular port enabled in the security group let's see the same approach with the YAML file as of now we have used a single line in order to create the pod and in order to expose the service but let's do the same thing with the help of the YAML file so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two file uh, one with the name nano or let me create two files first t-o-u-c-h and the first file which I'm going to create that is Apache deployment or Apache pod dot yaml and the other file which I'm going to create Apache service dot yaml now let me log in to Apache pod dot yaml nano Apache you can also use VI here whatever you are comfortable with I'm more comfortable with nano and it's a easy one so I'm using the nano here I need to fill the detail now from where this thing is coming I will explain each and everything in later video but for this let's see API is v1 kind is going to be the pawn then we need to provide the name and this name is for the pod so let me my first pod and this is the container information and the name is my first pod and the image which I'm going to use it is wiki 89933 then we need to provide Apache let me check yeah, this is the one and the tag is 5 done now let me deploy this one so the command is kubectl apply minus f and then we need to provide the file name in our case the file name is pod.yaml and my first port is created let me do kubectl get pod if you see my first port container creating okay it is still in the process of creating the container let's wait yeah now it is in the running state let me open the file one more time apache if you see we have provided the name my first port so this is the name here this is the name of the port then we in the specification we have provided the container information and the container name is this and then the image is this and if we need to check all those information we can go with kubectl get pod and then kubectl describe to get more information related to the pod pod then the pod name my first pod oh where is the mistake okay now here if you see it is telling you in the event it has successfully pulled image from this in the seconds correct now if you want to see the other details 
so this is the image this is coming from the docker hub and this is my id if you see this is the name now the next thing which i need to do is is to create a service for that we already created one of the empty file Apache service dot yen. Okay, let me paste it. Now again, from where all those things are coming, I will explain. So don't worry, but not in this video and another video. So V one kind is going to be service. If you remember earlier, the kind was pod. Then we have the metadata. So again, this one is the name of the service. The same thing in the metadata we have provided the pod name. Now here we need to provide the service name. So my first service. Now here we have the spec selector and the app. Now here in the app we need to provide the name of the pod. So what was the name of our pod? My first pod. Then we have the protocol and the protocol is going to be TCP. Then we have the port, port is 80, target port, again we are going to take the same one, port 80. Then we have the type and the type is node port. Now let me deploy this service, so the command is kubectl apply minus f and the file name, that is apache-service.yml. It is created, now let me check kubectl get svc or service whatever you are comfortable with so we have the service created now let me quickly check whether this service is running or not so for that what we need to do is kubectl get node minus o wide and here is the ip let me go with this ip curl http oops and then we need to provide the port number 30392. Yes, this is working. Thank you.